basically just download this file, which I've already downloaded, and then use that as your quote unquote completed exam to assign your results or your submission to the questions and pages in Gradescope. So after I've downloaded that and called whatever I want to call it, I'm going to load midterm number zero in a new window. It takes me straight to submitting midterm number zero. We're always going to submit as a PDF. We're going to select our PDF, which we've already downloaded. Mine is hiding here in all my files. Let's see, it's the FOA exam two solution or whatever you have decided to name it. And then I'm going to upload it. Then after it uploads, we have to assign questions and pages. So you're basically saying, oh, this question is on this page. So if I look at my submitted midterm, question 1A, 1B, 1C, and 1D are all on page two. So here's the fastest way to do it. I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to click on question 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D. I'm going to let go of shift, although you don't have to. And I'm going to click on the page they go on. And look, it assigns them all there. Now, if you keep clicking other pages, it will assign them there, which we don't want. So I'm going to click that again to get them off. So after you've shifted or held shift and assigned them to a page, then you have to hit escape so that you've unselected those questions and they stay on that page. So I'm going to go, let's see, page three has question 2A and 2B. So I'm going to do 2A and 2B, holding shift, hit those there, and then press escape. You can also just do them one at a time. So page four has question 2C, 2D, and 2E. So I can do 2C, click, 2D, click, 2E, click, but it's kind of lame, whatever. And we keep going. So then for question, sorry, let me scroll down here. For question three, which is on page five, I see that there's question 3A, 3B, and 3C. So I'm gonna shift, click, click, click. Oh, so look, I accidentally added those to page four. So I wanna unclick those. Looking good, I'm gonna hit escape, right? Cause I'm still selected on page four. So basically if you see something selected and you don't want it to go there, you kind of have to hit escape. So now I'm gonna do shift, click, 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 and put those over on page five, escape. And then I want D and E on page six. So shift, click, click, put those on page six, escape. And then for question four, I want four A and B on page seven. So that I can click, 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 click. Now notice, right, that's still selected. So if I try shifting and doing the next page, it will kind of put those on there. But if I just click the next question, it'll deselect on there. So if you do them one at a time, you don't have to worry about deselecting. I don't love that, but you can certainly do that. So again, just a rundown. You're going to, if you want to select a bunch at once, you're going to hold shift, click them all, and then click the page they go on, and then hit escape to deselect the page so that you can put new questions on a new page. Um, after you've done all of that, you're gonna hit submit. Um, page one doesn't have any associated questions, that's fine. I don't want it to have any questions on it, but I do wanna submit it because it has my name on it. So I'm gonna submit the assignment, although really your name's already associated with your submission, whatever. Um, great, close that. And then if you feel like you've done, so you can look through, you can look through what you've done by clicking on the arrows here. Um, and you can kind of, well, you can't actually see, you, if you click on all pages, I can see um, from my view, but not from here. Anyway, um, but if you feel like you've done something wrong, you can also reselect pages. So right, you can go back and fix things if you feel like you have made an error in where you put your questions, and you can submit it again. And you can also completely resubmit by uploading a wholly different PDF if you realize, oh, I did the wrong PDF. So until the, I think, submission date has closed, you can keep resubmitting or reselecting. Um, but that's a brief run on how you do that. I do want you all to do it.